Hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. I am your late again host, Anon Jr. Uh, sorry about that. Got out of work late, and uh, with uh, with the fuel situation on the East Coast being what it is, there was a lot of traffic backed up into the road trying to pull into gas stations. I'll complain about that later. Uh, what I also want to complain about is my nether wart farm is broken. But first, the good news. The good news is Arcadius... Well, it was almost what I asked for. Um, I asked for a uh, nether wart design in, uh, in the glass in the front here. And... I got a well. I got a video game flower. It's a video game plant. It does look awesome. Uh, I, I'm going to give him a hard time about that again later. I apologize for missing last week. If you caught the Twitter message, then you'll know that I'd been sick um, from <laughs> Sunday, Monday, and even a little bit into Tuesday, and uh, it just yeah, it, it was bad. And then I ended up having, in order to get cleared to go back to work, I had to sit in the urgent care forever. And that went even worse. Uh, uh, okay, so it, it wasn't so much that it went even worse as uh, it really just, it just took forever. Forever, ever. Alright. Let's take care of these guys here real quick. I... Ran the farm AFK for a while after building it two weeks ago. And everything seemed to be go pretty go pretty good while I was sitting here, so I I left it to to let it run. And whatever had whatever was stealing focus the last time, uh I don't know if you guys remember on, on the on the last Coffee Craft live stream uh, in the middle of gameplay, some random thing uh, stole focus from the game, and I had to tap back in, and, and I grumbled a little bit about it, but it, I didn't think too much of it, until I left this thing AFK, and I did the F3T trick, where it, which holds down the right mouse button for you, and apparently... If the game loses focus after doing that, you are no longer holding right click. So I went from holding right click to plant all, uh, fresh sets of nether wart as the cart rolled on uh, to, to just not. Um... I'll deal with all that in a minute. Uh, Oh, and the random black stained glass. Arcadius had put a bit of black glass there, but you can't power a door with black glass. You gotta have a block. So I might go back and find a, a black black terracotta to to swap that out. The red kind of blends in, but he's got the black there and the you know, it yeah. The black might fit in with the design a little bit better. Matter of fact, let me go do that right now. Um so anyway. So I ended up rolling down the cart without replanting, and I I don't know where or how because because I had left it AFK. Look at what again? Hang on, I I need uh no, not concrete. Next yeah, black terracotta doesn't look like uh doesn't look black. It looks almost brown. I need to retexture the terracotta. Look at what again. What, that one? That one? Okay. We, we, we've, we've been at this a little bit. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I just got done showing that off. I didn't do that. 
I just want that on record. I know, I'm giving you a hard time. And I was just commenting that uh, I really needed to do something slightly different there. Ah. Uh, since you're probably not in a place where you should be uh, paying attention to what I'm doing, uh, I'll save that for whenever you get here. And I'll let you find it. I actually think the 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 red terracotta looks a little less a little less obtrusive. Um doggone it. When Arcadius put this together, he put a bit of glass there and then put the buttons on it. The problem is that you can't do that. Uh glass doesn't glass is transparent to power. It's transparent to look through, but when uh Mo Yang. Seriously, we, we get to talk about using the same term to mean two different things, depending on context. Um, there's transparency and opacity in terms of the glass is transparent to look through. And there's transparency and opacity in terms of whether or not you can power the block or whether the block can conduct power. So glass is both transparent to look through and it is transparent to power. Uh, the corners are the red terracotta, which is what I had a minute ago, but I, I, I thought something black would look better. Uh, oh. I'd power the floor, but I kept the, I tried to keep this tight and there's nowhere to put a button because if I put a button here, that means the rail's not here and you lose one whole section. Um, uh, I mean, I I had originally put a frame around the door to give more options, but uh, when it was remodeled, it was uh, removed, did nothing but glass. Uh, it doesn't matter. Lever, button, whatever. It's got to be something that is not transparent to power. So... If I put a lever on the outside, that means this door is going to stay open the whole time I'm in there, which kind of defeats the purpose of having a door that the zombies can't eat your face while you're AFK. Because that's the whole point of this. While you're sitting here riding your happy little cart AFK. Uh, no. Iron's going to stick out a lot more. Um... Honestly, I'd really like to not use an iron door, but zombies can break down anything that's uh, made of wood. And I swear I'm going to kill myself on these uh, sweet berries if I don't watch every time I jump back. Anyway. So during that AFK session, something broke. I found a whole bunch of, a whole bunch of these not not harvested and, and so I gotta figure out I gotta figure out what's going on I don't I don't know what broke I don't know why it broke I am wondering if some of it has to do with the extra blocks that I put in here for decoration and platform and stuff Every every video that I saw where they built these guys, uh, all this stuff here, it, it was one long straight line. Nobody stacked these on top of each other. So, like, I've got this guy who should not be extended because that torch isn't powered. Uh, all three buttons are in the bottom, as they should be. So the question is, is why, oh, and that guy too. Why are these guys, why do these guys think they're powered? Uh, is it, is it that simple? Is it really just the redstone blocks there? It's probably that simple. All right, before I go tearing too much else down. Although, that doesn't, that doesn't explain some of these other guys that were up there that had the same problem. 
All right, that guy, so that guy thinks he's still powered. That guy thinks he's still powered. But one of these had a whole row that thought it was still powered. Like one of these, the whole row did not harvest. Yeah, this guy. So if it was just those two redstone blocks, then this whole row wouldn't be powered. Except, yeah, it never, it never reset. Uh, hmm. There's something, oh, no, that guy and that guy. So it's just those two guys at the end. But at, uh, no, there's one more floor. All right, so what about the top floor? Does the top floor have this problem? It shouldn't. No, the top floor does not seem to have this problem. All right, so I need to move these redstone blocks a little bit further away from the pistons. And then I need to go reset all the machines and make sure that everything is as it should be. I carefully try to pick away a little bit of this. And I guess we'll just uh, make our way down. I oh, I oh, right? These guys are all set. Nothing's leaking as powered that it should be. Alright, so we got three in the bottom, three in the bottom. So far, so good, alright? Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's that top one done. This redstone block needs to move. Oh, and I forget about the lantern. All right, he still thinks he's powered though, even without the redstone block there. Oh. He adjusted. He did not. All right, let's go back one more. Let's put our redstone block there at the corner. And we'll put that guy there with his lamp. We'll put that guy there with his lamp. back up upstairs other direction before our uh, rail disappears yeah something like that glad to see you among the land of the living all right so that's back to power that's back to power That's, right. That's the one I already fixed. That's the top row. Yeah, I, I kind of figured it was something like that. All right. And okay, good. I put class on top of that so that way nothing would spawn. I can still get over that if I need to. 
top row fixed. That is fixed. Now I gotta start looking at these guys here. Oh. And he magically updated. Okay. We got three in the bottom, three in the bottom. So far, so good, right? Yeah. I'm gonna be deathly scared to walk out of this place. sealed up. Oh, I need to move these guys. Uh, so move that out of the way. That there. And do the same here. This time with a little less fuss. And our redstone block is going to go on the end. That's going to go there. And our lamp's going to go there. Redstone block on the end. That's going to go there. Lamp's going to go there. And then we need to go put the rails. I still wish I knew what happened. Well, okay. So, I'm guessing this is one of those things where quasi-connectivity strikes again. Um, quasi-connectivity is one of those things that is unique to the Java version of Minecraft. And is one of the most frustrating and exciting aspects of the game imaginable. Uh, it what it's what allows uh, it allows you to do some really interesting things with. Uh, thank you. Uh, I kind of figured since I was in the cage here, uh, I was okay. If they broke through the wall and the door, then I had bigger problems. Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, in the Java edition, you can technically power something in all sorts of... Uh, not entirely intuitive adjacent ways by having a power brick uh, near something and playing with with various game mechanics it like it's a whole it's a whole thing it allows you to do some really neat tricks that allow you to build some amazing machines um, however comma if you do don't fully understand and appreciate what happens with quasi-connectivity. You can do some really funky stuff and get yourself into a place where you, you might be um, questioning the parentage of various developers involved in the game. I also wonder how many cats are going to end up on that platform. So anyway, that redstone block being there is technically kind of sort of powering that piston right there. Technically. Kind of sort of. That, that, that's the brilliant part of this. You, you get all sorts of firm answers like that one. So even though that putting, if I were to put this redstone block back, that's not going to power that. Um, I 
I've never actually thought of it that way, Vexen. That does help. That does help. Uh, for those that don't see chat, uh, yeah. So if it would power the door, then it would power the component. Uh, and I'm not entirely sure that is exactly what happened here, because again, it worked for a while. Uh, I'm wondering if there might have been a, a timing issue, too. We have had some, uh, <laughs> we, we have had some interesting glitches on the server. But, uh, that is the, the joys and sorrows of playing on a, uh, on a server. There, there are things that work in single player very nicely that don't always work on the server side. Okay, oh, that's good. Oh! Well, that's good to know. Huh. That is really cool. So this all comes from somebody getting a little lazy with a, a copy and paste code. <laughs> I'm actually not surprised. A having done software development myself, I, I fully understand the temptation to do a little bit of copy and paste code. Uh, just because it makes life easier. It, it is one of the... <laughs> and, and, well, like I said, it. I know that it is one of those components that is a little frustrating to learn, a little frustrating to understand, but it enables a great many things that wouldn't otherwise be possible. And for for that reason, it, it's it's one of the it's a much beloved component of the game. Uh, I, I look at some of the stuff that that many of the the big big names in uh, Redstone development have done, and, and that wouldn't be possible. Did I never put lamps over here? I never put lamps over here. Eh, that'll be enough light. Um. So, you know, th there, there's things that you just, you wouldn't be able to build in Java. It's why you get a lot of tutorials. Uh, this is a fully AFKable netherwort farm. I, I looked around and found about 18 different varieties, so I would love to credit who built it, but I can't figure out who did the original design. Um... I hate that the only way to get efficiency is to make this bigger and bigger and bigger. And all right, I'll come back to you in a minute. Uh, so the idea is that you just uh, plop yourself on a cart with a handful of wort, and you run along the cart. You know, just uh, pull down the right click, whatever. The observer watches for the planting stage one, stage two. There, that's what the counter system in the back is for to uh, count out the growth. So you got, you know, one button will go up to the top for stage one, another one will go up for stage two, third one will go up for stage three, and then that will trigger the automatic harvest and the piston will smash it down. So you'll roll by and pick up the another wart and plant another one as you go. Uh, most of the designs that I saw illustrated in various YouTube demos had just a single line of about 10 or so and with notes to make it bigger to get better yields because a, a row of 10 after an hour hour AFK would get you a net positive of 30-ish nether wart so I made a bigger tower Arcadius uh, who's in chat and kind of slowly coming to um, injuries, muscle relaxes. He's the 3D artist of the group, and he did the, not the flower that was requested, but a video game flower nonetheless for the, uh, for the little design on the outside. And, oh, that's right, I gotta finish putting the power drill down. 
But I mean, it ran beautifully. It just somewhere, somewhere during the the Maiden AFK session, it all kind of went sideways, and now I'm trying to figure out what happened. So moving that redstone block over will at least keep it from interfering with anything going on these edges. It still doesn't answer the question of why there was one full row where the timing was off. Like I, I now understand the edge. Yeah. It, <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Rast. It did run beautifully until it didn't. I still can't quite figure out what's up with this guy here. There we go. Yeah, because I, I sat here while it ran for about half hour, hour, and everything was running good. I went AFK. And when I got back... Um, all sorts of things were were messed up. <laughs> yeah, I thought I got them all updated, but I I, th I think what I'm gonna do is I'll go through and do another uh, do another AFK session where I just let everything run for a bit. Uh, but I'll probably do that while I'm waiting for today's live stream to, to up, upload to uh, to YouTube, where I keep all the archives. My big thing was to look and see if there was anything obvious, like those uh, <laughs> like those redstone blocks that I'm kind of kicking myself for not noticing that. So that, that yeah, I, you're right. I, I'll probably go through and just reset each and every one of those torches before I uh, before I take it out for a spin again. Yeah, yeah. I'll wait on that. I'll wait on that. I'll do that uh, offline or while I'm waiting for the live stream archive to upload. Although, given the way uh, the cable company's been, yeah, you know, for 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 a company that keeps increasing my uh, my internet bill, I seem to struggle to do like I don't know, play on the server and upload at the same time. <laughs> In the game, although I could have used a nap uh, <laughs> between <laughs> between rushing home and here, I had one violin that I, I I work in an instrument repair shop during the day, and uh, I had a sound post and one violin that was naturally the very last one I was working on, and it was stupidly frustrating. Like, immensely, stupidly frustrating. And it really soured what was a moderately okay day. Because it was stubborn and uncooperative. Alright. Let me grab a few things. I think... I think over here somewhere... I need to put together a uh, a uh, basalt farm because I want to finish building the the housing around the tree farm. Even though I still haven't figured out what where the timing went wrong on the blast chamber. That that that's in my uh, when I have time on the weekend type projects. Because for whatever reason, the timing on this bad boy is just a smidge off. And it plugs up the hole in the middle, which is bad for when the TNT goes off. And that guy in the corner keeps getting pushed down when he shouldn't. So I'm not entirely sure where, where that issue is. 
I'll figure that out uh, another day. I need to get a basalt farm going because I'm going to need more basalt for the decoration. And it's one of those things that I still haven't built yet. Ooh, 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 oh, yeah, yeah. You see that kind of lag right there. And there's only four of us on the server. All right. I need I need some blue ice. Uh Okay. I need to head out to the beach cuz I think that's where I left uh my backup stash of blue ice. Did I leave? No, I don't have it in here. All right. I really do want to finish that roof before the end of the season, too. Although we haven't exactly... we, Well, we haven't decided if we're going to change our plans for uh, when we're wrapping up Season 1 and starting Season 2 based on the fact that Mo Yang decided to change their update schedule. Um, there we go. Hey, medic. Or are you not in voice yet? Um, I need blue eyes. I need... Where did I put my soul soil? Nope, not magma locks. I need lava buckets. Lots of lava buckets. Um, grab one of those guys. Hey, thank you for the follow. Uh, yeah, no, I, I get that, medic. <laughs> thank you for the follow. We normally have a full server for our, our Tuesday streams. But we're all a little off today. A shulker box. We don't have a shulker full of uh, lava buckets already over here, do we? Minecarts, boats, saddles, beds, potions, flint and steel, music discs. No, we got water buckets, but no lava buckets. Yeah, no, I, I don't think we get a bunch in the overflow. I still gotta figure out why the custom heads aren't stacking. Actually, I think I might not worry about that one until uh, until we start the next season. Because I, I know part of the problem was a change in handle. Alright, what did I come... I came for... shulker shells. M-I-S-S? I'm not familiar with that acronym. We, we do have a massively insane storage system. Oh, multi-item storage. Yeah. <laughs> well, it is massively insane. But yes, it is a multi-item storage system. It is... Nembomb? Something Nembomb did. Uh, with some minor adjustments. Like, I put in some bulk storage ahead of time. I designed and have been tweaking my own little unloading system. So we got a nice little spot to pop up a bunch of shulker boxes and a chest for loose items. Uh, it's set up so you can set it to hold or start sorting because this is one of those things that you don't want to just walk away while it's in the middle of working. Um, bulk storage and then multi-item and then we got our overflow over that way. Nothing gets automatically destroyed though we do have a little trash bag over there. And uh, we get a little spot for our non-stackables over in the corner here. And down in the basement we have the armory. I still haven't finished uh, labeling everything though. Oh, and we got our totally not an Amazon uh, storage locker storage locker. Because some people <coughs> were asked like to uh, 
use their mailbox as a personal storage. So you end up not having room to give her like boxes and boxes and boxes of glass. So we got our little uh, storage hub. Hmm. Probably gonna need to update the uh, the map too. Ah, never mind. I'll do that later. Let's see. Oh, buckets. Any buckets? more than I need, but I'm sure we'll need more later. Alright, let's, um... I get my big one diplomacy hat on. Good. Yeah, I can find stuff, eventually. <laughs> oh, okay. I heard a rocket over here and I was like, wait, what? new so is the destruction but uh what's with the the I don't know what happened out here o other than I am aghast that is probably aghast I'm curious where this goes okay uh, I'm, I'm in chat now Hello. So that goes out to a Reyes project. Oh. But all of okay. this giant ditch uh, of destruction, I have no idea where all this come from. <laughs> uh, Reyes <laughs> is saying that kitties happened. I didn't realize it until uh, until there was a bit of a trivia thing that apparently the 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 sound effect for a guest is a recording of a cat. Uh, I've never heard a cat like that. I've heard some mean cats. Ouch. What are you ouching about? Ouch. If only we had a massive amount of uh, fire potions stored somewhere nearby. Uh, that's me falling and running into walls with rockets. And oh, yeah. Oh, hi. Yeah, it's that Soul Sand uh, Valley out there. <sighs> oh. Oh. Faster. There we my Starbucks stuck in the corner? No idea. Redstone boxes. I need to get that ready to sort out later. Uh, what else do I need? I'll need some building blocks eventually, but I'll get to that a little bit later. Oh, 
I need to go down here and pick up a couple of chests. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Alright, good. That's still working. I gotta get the rest of those farms together, too. I'll take those. I'll take some of those. Yeah, that'll be enough for now. My, uh, list of unfinished projects is, uh, getting the unfortunate kind of impressive. Right. Where, do where, where is everyone? Uh, I'm only physically here. Does that count? Uh, possibly. Possibly. I know Reyes left work late. Arcadius is just now coming around. And we'll probably be on before too long. I mean, he's on the server, but not like... We're, we're, we're going to want to give him a minute. And beyond that, I don't know. setting this on fire, but we turned fire tick off. <laughs> Hello, beach duck. How you doing? Oh, there we go. Hello, beach duck. Where's the... This is what I hate about the oak trees. There's always that one little log somewhere in there that keeps the whole thing from, uh... Where is it? Is that it? That was it. There we go. They look pretty, though. Do I want to come in on this side? I need to figure out a way to get... I want to build it so that way we can use it manually for the moment. but So it'll also fit into the blast chamber once I get that working. And... Where? There's going to be a good place to slot this stuff in. I guess I could loop it up and then drop it down over the top here, because all I need to do is get it to, to put a block there. If I go up and over. Alright, I'll put something together here. Um, Alright. Clear out some of the junk. I don't need the saplings, but I might need the lumber. Alright. I've seen a bunch of different designs for... Hello. We said hello. We saw you say hello. Is it, uh, your, your wonderful, wonderful Wi-Fi, or...
Or is my connection not as good as I, I thought it was? What, Wi-Fi? Yeah, I know. I know. I've had those days. Alright, let's, uh, let's park up a new, a new monstrosity here. And we got the lava buckets and the soul soil. We got blue ice. So, oh, I thought I had more soul soil than that. Okay. Sorry. We won't need that much. Um, so here's the basic. All right. I got to figure. I've seen a few different designs and I get the general principle. I, I'm going to see if I can actually put together something of my own. Yeah. Alright. We'll, we'll see how well that goes. I need... Oh. I, I see the uh, Homeowners Association is here. Hi. Oh, he's right there. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. That's not okay. That's okay. I guess I'll, uh... First banner on display. The homeowners association li association likes to come by frequently. That's why old Bessie's here while we were working on this project. This was a lot of work, and those guys were a lot of trouble. Hmm. More junk I didn't need in my inventory, though. Nothing special on the crossbow? Nothing special. Yeah, really, really. Alright, now let's start. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So I know I know the general principles that I need to work with. I need figure out how I'm going to explain this. So the idea is if you have blue ice and soul soil. So you got blue ice on one side, soul soil on the other. Um, when a lava source flows over, it, it turns into, uh, here, let me actually do that in a way that's not going to cause me trouble. So, when the lava hits, nope, I got that wrong. Okay. one of those ones where it mattered which direction I'm trying to work off a half remembered half remembered technical information which is never usually a good sign uh, let me sleep on this it's the interaction between soul soil blue ice and lava maybe I got maybe I got the blue ice and the soul soil and it needs to go over the, yeah I bet that's it I bet that's it I dyslexic the uh, soul soil and blue ice Okay. I got this. 
I got this. Um, let me get something that's better temporary. My stomach is making some very unhappy noises. I may have to go to an intermission for a little bit. There we go. That's what it was. I had that backwards. So you got your lava that flows off of yeah, something like that. Something very much like that. What if I do it this way? Okay. Okay. Good. Oh, that does cover more than one. Alright. Yeah, so soul soil needs to be on the bottom. Blue ice needs to be to one side or the other. And when the lava flows over it, you end up with basalt. And the idea is that you can do this one of a couple of different ways. Like, there, there are some that have a row of lava off to the side and there, there's a little spot where you stand and you because you're standing on like a daylight sensor or, or a stone cutter or something you end up just a little bit lower and you just kind of sit here and hold down your 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 left mouse button and it'll just go through six ish at a time uh, and you work that farm manually, except you end up going through a lot of picks. Um, I would like to I would like to set this up so that way when it's done, I can just kind of pump it up into that blast chamber there, uh, but also use it manually until then, if that makes sense. So here's the next question. Let's, uh, let's close that off for a minute. And let's grab an observer. Nope, other box. I can make some more observers too. Where did they all go? guy looking down. Oh. No, that's not going to work. Oh, no. Alright, alright, alright. All right. Um, if I do it from this side. Is he just going to fire? He's going to fire when you mine it. Fire again. Okay. So when that gets moved... But he's only going to fire once when the lava goes. So what I want... What I want is to do this kind of planning before I start a live stream, so I'm not sitting here staring blankly at... <laughs> at a... Had a setup going. Uh, what do I want? What do I really, really want? I want something that uh, I want to make sure that the observer triggers. Right. So when the lava flows in, the observer triggers, and then a piston pushes 
the basalt block out of the way so I can get that into that stream there. Oh. Seriously. What's with the anti-grav arrow? Do it that way. The lava is going to flow that way. But I'm not going to. Oh. Um. Actually. Let me move this whole thing over one. what I think is I'll need a sticky piston. Oop. Running short on those guys too. Fine. A little redstone dust. We'll get note block. Um, I'm forgetting something. I'm being very absent-minded here. What am I being so absent-minded about? need to run right there like that. Oh you know, no, except that's going to move the blue eyes. That's why I didn't want that there. That's why I probably just needed the, uh, the note block powered like so. with my coffee craft, but at this point it is already 
7.30. Thereabouts. Behold, the Redstone Intermediate. <laughs> I know just enough to mangle things up really, really badly. Because the basic idea is I, I just need to get that piston powered, and I'll use the ice block to push the basalt over one. Uh, I'm just, I'm having an absent-minded moment. Uh, the best way to go about getting that... Uh, I get the feeling that that might be uh, that might be all I need. Almost fails the target blocks of the problem, right? And what I'll do is is the signal strength coming out of this guy is only is it one or five? No, it should be fifteen. It should be five. It'll be fine. That's right. I did want to, uh, I did want that to have a slight delay. Oh. <laughs> going to be a never-ending loop. All right. But that is almost progress. Because every time the ice block gets pushed under here, it's going to trigger the observer. And even if I didn't use the ice block there, even if I found a way to use the piston to, to push it, Whatever moves that out of the way is going to trigger that a second time. Although, is it just going to be that? If you had power. That is a clock, but it is not the kind of clock I'm looking for. All right. not use an observer. That seems to be the problem. I only want this to trigger. Alright, this part seems pretty solid. I get the lava flowing in. I just need some way to trigger that. To push this way. Uh, so... 
Let's do this. If I... If I think out loud, I could probably explain what it is that I'm trying to do. The idea is, the idea I was thinking of was taking a signal such that you, you end up doing a, let me grab a torch. Let me grab a redstone torch. I might need some comparators. I don't know. Uh, I probably need some other building blocks that are not. I'll figure that out later. Uh, so the idea is that I want to have a redstone torch, a polished something or other. So that block is powered by the torch underneath. And then I do something like this. And then route that power back up to the piston. And then all I really need to do then is set the lava source up here and let it fall down uh, using different some other block but that's going to flow down is going to turn into basalt which means that should be pulling a signal. But it's not. That is powering. Mm. I feel like this is another one of those I'm forgetting something stupidly obvious moments. Instead of overcomplicating it, I just grabbed a redstone block. Because if I put the salt there, stuff that we have, and we'll go redstone torch, repeater, that's like what we got on some of this stuff over here where we got torch going into a repeater, and that will give us our signal, which we can then route around, there's my wool. track of the stuff. Oh god, that goes out like a so. No, that's right, because the ice is going to... I just need it to push once. Go. 
throw a little delay into it. Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. I got this, I got this. I just need a one pulse. Array for over engineering. I'm gonna need a sticky piston. to actually pull that from uh, yeah I need I need some all right all right that's almost right I'm on the right track almost what I'm looking for. Um, and then I get something like, where did my lava bucket go? Something like that. It'll drop down. We get basalt. Drops down. Sweet. Sweet. This is almost like progress. some of the some of the weird funky piston stuff that I'm doing over here and repeat it over here so I can start pushing the basalt forward and then up into the blast chamber um, this is in line with where I ultimately want it so I need do I need? I need one of these guys. Which one of these guys do I need? Maybe this guy? So the idea... Yeah, okay. I'm going to torch under the block a regular piston pushing it forward. Ow! Oh, oh, oh. That's right, I got flight too. so I don't mix up my circuits. Uh, which also means... Let me... Let me put these guys on the red wall. So we know that that is all a part of powering it. Let me get this ring up here. Something not basalt. 
so we know what that's all about. Uh, let me go grab. Let me go grab some wool from the farm. Grab the orange for the fire. And then we'll start grabbing some of the gray for moving blocks around. some sort. Early I've got a fence post of some sort. Early I do not have a fence post of some sort. Oh no, I, I'm I bet I do over in the box around the corner here for uh for this. Alright. Sorry guys. Focus is uh something of a problem today. So what happens when you jump on a coffee craft server without coffee, I mean. Yeah, well. There didn't seem to be much in the way of options. Alright, let me, uh... Have some stairs, too. <clears throat> it's coffee. There's always options. Uh, not when you're running late. <laughs> decorate this up later. What I need to do is I need Where are you off hiding, medic? I just want to make I don't know. I hadn't seen or heard him in a bit. He's on. He's moving around. Just want to make sure you can't accidentally fall into the lava here, but you can still access it if you need to. Uh, he may be on the phone. Who knows? Cover more of this later. Uh, so the basalt generator is working. It actually works quicker than I would have expected. I need my gray wool. There's going to be a Torch under the block. A piston, a regular piston where the block is going to be pushed. A blot of redstone dust next to it. Um, I need regular pistons. Regular pistons. Oh. Day, I'll remember the actual where I put my stuff in. Hmm. I hope that redstone block isn't going to get in the way. Nah. Nah, it should be fine. And... Hmm. Hmm. Try it like this and see if that works. And if I put that there. Alright. So far, so good. At least until I break it. 
let's uh, let's grab our bucket of lava. so much smarter. Piston it from the top? No, 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 no. Uh, I'm running into the problem where I need to, um, I need to be able to turn it on and off. Why, why am I sitting here messing around with buckets? Because I also realize that I'm going to need an actual final on-off, right? So, uh, just do that right there, like that. Um, that guy going down below like that. I'll put that guy back there like that. And I'll start making my way over to a bed, like a so. Glad I put this bed in the uh, inside the log farm. I still gotta get the uh, the roof and all that on this, but I didn't want to work on that until I figured out what was wrong with the timing on the blast chamber. Everything else is working though. the The only thing that could cause a major problem is a lightning strike on the roof. Why? Why would you say that? I need a... Surely I've got some buttons in here, right? <clears throat> Surely I have some... Oh, there, there we go. Button. There's a button. on. There we go. I got my on and off. And I can move that button around a little bit too. So it's not, it doesn't have to stay right on top of that. Because next I need, need to go up, up here. Uh, oh, of course. Up was one of the less fun ones. Why? Wait, um. I thought I had another one that was moving up beyond just that one there. That goes over, that goes over. They all get pushed down and into one stream of blocks. But there is nothing here. Because that's that line of logs coming down this way and getting compact it down into one block stream and the branches are coming around this way and getting pushed into the block stream so this is the only up oh oh my I I forget what a hot mess that was not the word I was going to use. <laughs> uh, oh dear. I don't think I'm going to work on this one on stream. <laughs> Besides. Oh yeah. Yeah, because 
Okay. I guess I guess I could turn that sideways, right? Wonder. Wait. Did I not line that up right? Oh yeah, no no no. I well oh. Oh. I don't think I lined that up right anyway. Because this is gonna go up um let me, let me get a little more basalt to work with here. And uh, I'll illustrate the problem. So there's going to be the piston here pushing things up. And it's going to go up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then if I start going across and then pushing back down, yeah. It was 11 or 12, was it? slab up there. Uh, it's keeping stuff from falling into the composter. Or even a composter, depending on where you're from. I can move it across and then maybe down. Alright, I might be able to make that work. Barely though. Because the push limit is 13. Uh, so, yeah. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. That's not bad progress, although... I really do want to make sure that I... mob-proof the uh, top here. in a building. There we go. I'll build a building around it eventually. Actually, I'll probably just build a tiny hut with a button somewhere. <laughs> and I mean, technically, we, we could use it as is. I, I, I could probably put a uh, an obsidian backstop here and a little collection system here so you just, you, you could sit here and just AFK as this thing went so that's not a bad idea. I might do both. Um, set it up so you can use it manually or let it push into the... Yeah. It's 8 o'clock. Let me, let, let me see if I can figure out that much. Um, I don't need all that. I don't need all that. Uh, I already got my lava bucket. What I need... Top off my wool supply, that's what I need. Um, need an MC. 
obsidian block. I need some hoppers. So I can put the obsidian block there. That shouldn't that shouldn't change anything here. Um, I ought to put that. on the side. I could probably reach that from here. No, not quite. I'll fix that too. All right. So if we're breaking blocks here, I would need... I just need to make sure that you're in a spot where there wasn't many options for the blocks to fall. If we did something where you're standing here, then maybe put Like so, because we can't block off that side entirely. And go like so. Uh, oh, nighty night. No, oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. chest. But I hope you're not going to be at this too long manually. That, that's a lot of pick to wear down. And even though I don't think it'll we'll do that right there. And then, uh, yeah. Yeah, that should get picked up pretty quick. should be able to go like that. And even with the netherite pick, I'm not going to break the obsidian. And there we go. We got us a nice little temporary farm. It moves at an okay pace. I can finish building a building around it as soon as I get this set up to uh, you know, put maybe a steel door there. A steel door. An, I an iron door. set up so that way you can stay in here without getting ninja by a creeper. Uh, but I would want... Alright, uh, one more. Nothing scarier than a ninja creeper. Yeah. If I put the button there... Can I reach from here? I'm very careful, but I can't do that with the door there. Well, that doesn't mean I can't build this out a little bit more. Or... 
or figure out a way to uh, to work this so I can get the button press up there, route, it, route the power around somewhere else, like maybe uh, maybe on the roof have a button push that uh, triggers that. I can work that out later. No, I can work that out right now. Um, hmm. Let's move this glowstone somewhere else. Let's get the carpet up. Let's get that back. I mean, I guess at the end of the day, I could put the button there. Can I reach that from? I can reach that from in here. I guess it doesn't matter if there's a block left over here. Okay. Okay. Alright. Then I can finish up the design on that side a little bit. Make it look a little less bad, maybe. Uh, figure out what I want to do to decorate the top. Uh, I can definitely put the uh, low stone here. Or maybe right above the hopper. So that way you get light when you're in here too. Yeah, so you can go in here, hit it, and even if that's working, that, that might not be a bad place to put it, except uh, you can't reach the button when... Uh, when there's a block there. Lost me again is in conduct connectivity or lost me again is in what what in the world I'm actually talking about. Because uh, I, I accept both of those as exceptionally valid options. I am getting a little rambly at the moment. Uh, I'm getting rambly-er at the moment. Lately. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> Is it you read any good books lately? Uh nothing uh, ish. I started some good books, but I haven't been able to finish because time and scheduling and weirdness and such. Can I reach that uh yeah, that works better. That works better. Okay. Probably ought to do something other than pillars here, though. And my only other issue is... Well, okay. That double chest will eventually fill up if it doesn't get emptied. Uh, and technically... Technically, I have storage space over there for basalt because I was, I was intending to hook up a basalt farm to this here... Anyway, so instead of trying to have a double chest, I need to I need to find a way to figure I need to figure a way to feed the basalt from that farm there into here. Hmm. Or do I do this completely differently? No, 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 no. Come too far to start over, is that what I heard? No. Alright. So. I've got a chest there. That's going to run me right into that redstone, but that doesn't mean I have to go directly. So what I'm thinking of doing is maybe just running a water stream up under 
I was going to say, do I have any signs? I'm about to have signs. Signs of what? Not signs of intelligence, apparently. Where did all my crafting tables go? At your other sites. I had a stack of them, though. And I had a stack uh -huh. of ender chests, but I'm only missing three of those. things again. I just need to run things to the other side and then... Then I can spit things out over here. so it wouldn't uh, cause problems. Uh, have you had... Or are you in the nether? Uh, I can get you. Hold on. Sorry, I was being assaulted. Short on medic. Ow! Oh, that was not somebody screwing with me by shooting arrows or like they were earlier. <sighs> oh no 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 no! Oh you no! There's a second one. Go away! Go away! Go away! Could have been worse. I hope I didn't lose anything. I don't think I did. It looks as you might have lost a 
shulker, but it doesn't. No, I didn't have a. Why would it look like I lost a shulker? Because it looks like there may have been one like right here. No, there wasn't. Good. <laughs> that's that's always a pain in the. Yeah. Seriously? <laughs> Not enough. Not enough. <laughs> oh, you gotta love it. I mean, you don't have to. You're just not exactly spoiled for options. <laughs> I mean, I, I go get the uh, Confetti Creepers data pack. Instead of blowing up stuff, they, they create a little confetti surprise. So you still get the jump scare value. You, you just don't get the loss of items. figure out where uh, Medic wandered off to? It's right here next to me. Oh. <laughs> it's just not being very talkative, apparently. Oh. <laughs> I just finished making an entire shulker of books, so... Of books? Of books. Uh, do I dare ask what the books were for? Well, considering we can get leather for just as cheap as the paper it's mm -hmm. cheaper and more cost effective to do books for emeralds than paper for emeralds ah uh, we still need a proper ice farm I have the biome north of the uh, mushroom no, 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 no. Like, like an actual <laughs> renewable renewable resource type. Like an ice tray with some sort of collection system. Don't you think you have enough projects right now, sir? We got time. Ish. <laughs> maybe. I'll, I'll agree <laughs> with that statement when I see some of these buildings with roofs. I'm just saying. Hey, hey, hey. The... <laughs> One building is not finished. I can't put a roof without the rest of the building. The other one is missing a roof. Those are two. There. Two. Two. That's that's how many fingers you have in this game, by the way. No. Yeah. One, one, and two. That's no. It. <laughs> it is. I mean, unless you draw fingers on your person. I mean, it's like a Warforge. They only have six. I'm going to need a lot more ice, too. All right. Let's see. How do I want to do this? Regular ice or blue or packed? Um, maybe. Smalls. There's the uh, icebergs just south of here, or north of here. Let's think about this for a change. What I want to do is I want to make sure that hey, I don't mess with any of the redstone we got going on the other side of this. Although, I got a fair amount of room there. What I need is dropper. I need to double check some of the other stuff. Just a... uh, what do I have in my elevator? Oh. 
Dropper. Okay. I need... I need to create some more ways in and out of here. <laughs> Help! I've lost in my own redstone maze. Alright. Let me get a dropper instead. Nope, not that box. Get a dropper. I'm going to need a second observer. Um, no, I'm going to need a sticky piston. Do I already have a sticky piston on me? I do not have a sticky piston on me. I'm not sure if I'm going to need the regular pistons or not, so I'll leave them there for the moment. A dropper. Going to go there. The hopper is going to go there, because that's where the collection's going to be. Then what I need out of here... is... Space. That was pretty funny. What? I thought Arcadius was chasing me, so I'm flying all in and out of these trees and squirreling around and everything, then I pop down into these trees behind the beehive, and I'm hiding, waiting for him to come around a corner. I turn around, he's just sitting on top of the building staring at me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's not going to be the way I want that to go. That's going to interfere with the redstone. Um, this way should work. It's a blue wool. Apparently not. They're very little blue wool. I'll take the light blue. I swear the fox. The noises that they make sometimes. About ready to go rename every one of them silence. gonna go there. I'm going... Ooh, uh, well, that's gonna be a bother too, isn't it? Because... I can't... It still needs a lot of work. Coming along. What you working on? The uh, 
Bays. The Bays? Yeah, that needs a lot of work. Bays and Bays. Especially with the graffiti. <laughs> yeah, I meant to go back and fill those back in. <laughs> Trying to see what it would look like if it had like some sort of uh, damaged uh, scars or something. All right. We got our coffee pot up there. about this this is like not even a month ago that we finished this <laughs> yeah looks like the coffee thing you get frozen in it you mad oh, keep putting the grounds in there <laughs> you're gonna put more grounds in the coffee I was gonna say, um, that's uh, why, why, did, why did I fly over here? I don't need a pack. Oh, I get, I get plenty of blue eyes. That'll work. Just, uh, well, mm. let me use the pack dice. I gotta waste the blue eyes. Pack dice will be fine. Well, do they use pack dice or blue eyes on the rest of this? Is that all pack dice or blue? I think that's blue. Oh. Ah, I used blue ice. Okay, I didn't cheap out on the waterway. Weird. this time either. Use the blue ice. I just need oh, to get the... the horse stable. Hmm? Forgot about the horse stable. What do you mean you forgot about the horse stable? <laughs> I forgot I built it. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> really? It's like your newest build. <laughs> you, you, you forgot about Mr. Ed? Aside for the moment, I don't need a target block. I think I'm done with that for the moment. Done with the dirt for the moment. I'll put the carpet away. Grass. Two random chests. Polished basalt. And the only reason why I came here, I need blue ice. Oh, and I do need some regular ice. Uh, that might be enough. And I need slabs. Uh, I should have some of those over here. I've been building with enough of them. That should be enough. He says, hopefully. <laughs> well, I mean, how many projects have you started where you look at you, you look at your inventory and you go, oh yeah, that should be more than enough. Oh, no. No, it's not. Alright. Um, 
actually let me have that job one more So we'll go that way and then back up here, right? So the blue ice is gonna come down. Oh. Ooh, nice little bridge. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a good use for the prismarine uh, gem. What? over here that little uh makes it look like there's like fruit or nodules hanging off the tree are you messing with rachel's trees no 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 i was looking at them oh oh okay oh using the right uh here. oh the player heads yeah yeah the, those aren't Prismarine, though, they are. Oops, if you press the right button. Uh, that doesn't tell me. I thought it would. I can't remember if they're the uh, the gems. Or maybe they are the it's Prismarine. It's a gem, minis. I just can't remember. So, because oh, that's going to get pushed up and down. That's why I have a light. <laughs> right. I can stay right there for oh, now. Oh, rabbit stick. <laughs> <laughs> So the idea is I'm going to try to build some water streams that link the basalt farm up with the rest. I don't, I do not like the dirt there. Uh, let me turn a bunch more of that into polished basalt. 
Not like I'm going to run out of that anytime soon. So, that works. And I'll use the polished basalt on the walls too. <laughs> no one will know. He says as he's streaming to fives of people. there. basalt in each of those directions and it's going to come down like so and it'll come down like so and then this ice will go this way although So that'll just fall, everything will get fall down here, the water will push it this away. But I get the distinct impression that I actually want to drop this down one more level? Yeah, one more level. All that hard work to go, I want to put it down one more level. This is a pretty cool idea. Mm -hmm. I think it turned out really well, too. It did. This looks awesome. Apps need to be updated, but... Give me that. Oh, I just realized. Look at the um, look at the water cooler from above like that. Uh oh. That's gonna push up. Makes me think of a Protoss Pylon. Pylon. Of course it does. We need a big boat dock now. Oh, did I hear you uh, volunteer to make a big boat dock? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, this does need to be updated. You can't see the lighthouse. Mm, true. It's still the tree farm. Oh, you're talking about the map? Yeah, my my map in you know in the in the uh, hallway of the three bedrooms I made for you guys. Ah, in trees, I, foyer. I still need to finish those. I wanted to do some redstone stuff in here for Mr. Redstone. 
add some mappy stuff in here from Mr. Mappy. And yeah, I think the uh, books, so. the the map in the post office needs to be updated too. I just did that. One. Uh, today, because it's not showing the uh, Coors Flower Farm or the newly installed Netherwart Farm. looking through the, the map. Ah. Trying to make sure I didn't. Where is it that you die the um, leather again? Where you die the what? Leather. Uh, you just die it. I'm gonna strip the color or no, actually diet. Too. Actually diet. Oh, in your inventory or on a crafting bench either. Yeah. One. Either one. You'll be able to see most of that. Then I need soul sand. Well, how far up am I going to go? Um. Ah. Oh. oh, that's a lot of pain. Where's my lunch? It's going to be a right pain. Let 
to, right? Yep. I mean, now I'm wondering if I, uh, if I needed to go that low in the first place. It's going to get in the way of that, so no, I needed to do exactly like I did. Okay. Okay. It's fine. Now, high up. prettier walls in a minute too. Is that the sound of a happy Jebba? At least for the moment. All right. uh, let me get that light offhand for the moment. Yeah, yeah, I just noticed that too. Wasn't what I intended. Alright. Let's get that back there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if I did that, that would have been way too high. Okay. I feel better about those decisions. Alright. I need to feel better about my inventory space. Uh, let's get rid of the hoppers and the comparators and the pistons. That. Um, get rid of the repeaters. Oh, I know I'm gonna hang under the stone and some of that other stuff for the moment. Uh, I can get rid of the torches, because most of this is just going to be water and stuff. Oh, I do need a soul sand, and not the soul soil that I have there. Because oh. uh, I am going to need to move items up a little bit. That part's fine. This is going to keep pushing things over this way. Oh! Oh. Um. Oh, shoot. I done goofed. I'm gonna have to stop and think about things for a little bit, because I just realized that I'm letting that, I'm not gonna let that despawn. Uh, I just realized that I forgot. I was also going to have, have to install one of these monstrosities. And 
And that means that I was going to need to build two blocks below and a lot off to the side. You know, right where the water stream is. So all that space for the water stream is not going to work. Unless... Unless I drop it straight down over there instead of pushing it out. And just, yeah, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll fix that off, off stream. Because that's, that's too sad for words. So that guy, I'll end up pointing down and then drop it across and down, which buries that behind the wall a little bit, but that's okay. And that leaves all this space open for... It always makes me cringe when I hear glass break. Um, and that leaves me space to build that monstrosity here, somehow. So I can then start pushing the basalt blocks that come off of here up and then over and then back down into that stream and either way you can use this farm as a manual farm or once I get the blast chamber together an automatic one that actually makes me wonder if you couldn't just run the log farm as a now because somebody's got to be somebody's got to be over there this generates it automatically all right all right, well, now that I've done enough damage and left another incomplete project around, no comments. No comments from the peanut gallery. <clears throat> it just as long as you're not over-engineering things. Seriously. <laughs> If I did pull that straight across. Hmm. Yeah. It would be tight. But it could work. That's a lot better than trying to... Yeah. Okay. Alright. Alright. I'll play around with it. We'll see what I get done between now and next time. Let me go find a safe space to park myself. I still got a... Come on. This is where I'd fill up my inventory with random stuff, but uh, my inventory is already full. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. All right, I'll have to do a little cleanup a little bit later. But uh, thank you for joining along. I hope you had fun. Uh, a little more, a little more rambly than usual, and I apologize for that. Uh, normally I try to plan out some of that stuff ahead of time rather than doing it on the fly. Uh, although, I hope that kind of helps give a different perspective. Maybe. Possibly. I'm going to post the live stream replay up on the YouTube channel, which if you haven't already, you should definitely subscribe to. Uh, these, the CoffeeCraft live stream archives get posted there. The Games Revisited episodes get posted there. And I keep promising other content will get posted there. When that'll actually happen, I don't know. But if you subscribe, you'll never be surprised because you'll know when it goes up. Uh, <laughs> and follow along on Twitch. Uh, stream CoffeeCraft on Tuesdays at 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern and Games Revisited on Fridays at 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern. That Games Revisited stream is basically a live-to-tape recording of the next six episodes. So if you would like to know the future... Come join, watch, chat, interact. Especially since right now we're going, we're playing through Trine, the Enchanted Edition of the first game in the series, and I've got Rayest and Arcadius helping out 
uh, the same Reyes and Arcadius from the Coffee Craft server. And uh, it is fun. It is fun to find out how many different ways you can hear us yell, No! No! No, 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 no. Uh, and various other uh, <laughs> family-friendly exclamations of surprise. <laughs> and if you'd like to support us, live.anonjunior.com will take you to the stream ledge page where you can tip, donate, or however you want to think about it. All right, let me let me now see who's on and if there's anybody I can read. Uh, it looks like Beast Lord is on and he's uh, continuing his playthrough of Monster Hunter Rise. I've not been a big fan of. Well, I love watching the Monster Hunter series. I'm not sure that I like it enough that I'm actually going to go out and get it, but it does seem a very interesting game. So let's um, stick with me. Let's go raid Beast Lord, say hello, and uh, go from there. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Uh? <laughs> 